Cisco's putting your desktop on a diet. From thin clients all the way down to the Atkins Ready Zero clients. Man, what is that all about? Let's get old Rob in here and help us figure it out. Brian, I appreciate you stopping by because we need to get the lowdown, especially from your perspective. Now, make sure I get this right. It's Voice Technology Group. Correct. You're, so there's a little bit of a break. We've had some very data-centric people, data-center-centric uh, individuals throughout the entire show, which is a very large part of the story, but one of the most unique angles on the story has to do with a couple devices here, which we'll come back to, but really getting into how Cisco's changing the desktop. So I thought we might start with your definition of desktop virtualization, and what does it mean from your perspective on what's been done versus where we're going? Sure, so I think if you look at the, uh, the industry historically, desktop virtualization has really been centered around the, the PC on your desktop, and how do you take kind of the user data, the applications, and pull them back into the data center, mm -hmm. store them securely in, in a way that uh, they're protected, but present that, that PC-like experience to the, to the end user. But that's where the flaw is. It's the yeah. user experience. If you've tried to use that technology, or VDI as we sometimes call it, in a, in a, in a, in a desktop setting, things like voice, video, uh, stream medias, don't work so well, well. It's only taken off in narrow industries, right? Because as yeah. long as you're in a really text-based position, and that's, that's all Perfectly you needed, you, and you're going to sit at a desk, and that desk never moved. That's correct. You know, and you're going to drive into the office, and all those kind of things that are not as much a part of today's workforce, you're okay. You got it, you got it. So if you're just task worker, tied to your desk, entering in you know, yeah. orders, it's, you're good. So that's great. great. Well, out with the old, in with the new. I think I heard it referred to um, earlier. Siva had mentioned this idea that we're really enabling the knowledge worker much more, which is someone you never would have touched with desktop that's virtualization right. in the, the past. That's is that right. Fair? The knowledge worker, as well as the mobile executive, if we talk about it in the context of our CS offer, which maybe we'll touch on a little bit later today, but uh, let, let's keep it going. Well, I'm excited by that, mainly because I think one of the challenges of desktop virtualization is the fact that uh, if, you, if we don't get a user an experience that at least replicates what they consider to be acceptable, in other words, they have to at least perceive no change from what they used to do, in a, you know, assuming that everything was working correctly, because yep. that's always sometimes a big assumption. Um, but, it, but then it's like, what does this give us the ability to do differently? And that's where things like CS come in. And the, the unified communications piece. Because yeah. as you said, will the dogs eat the dog food? That's the question, right? Because so every project fails if they don't. IT has this desire to centralize things, make their life easier, better security control, compliance policy, but the user at the other end says, no, I don't like this. It doesn't work properly. It's slow, it's sluggish, it doesn't. That's what we're attacking. We're fixing the problems, both the traditional data aspect of VDI that you mentioned mm -hmm. a moment ago, as well as the unified communication of the voice, video, and stream media piece of, e of, of, VD, of, of, of a PC environment, I should say. Which Making sure that user yeah. experience comes together in a way that everybody's a winner. So let's understand what you guys are doing different, because one of the things I like is you're from my town. So over in Dallas, or the Richardson, as we'd say, that office is chock full of all the voice nerds and video nerds as well and such, and you guys have been turning away for years, new stuff after new stuff, really pushing that envelope, and we've got some things here that kind of represent, in a small way actually, because this is only a, this is only an element of it. That's Can you right. help me understand what this we're doing This is the start of a journey, and it's a good point. This isn't the finish line, we're yeah. just beginning the, 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 uh, the, the, the journey, if you want to think of it that. So what we're doing is, and, and the voice technology group that you mentioned, a little bit misnomer, because we're really about collaboration, unified communications, which is well beyond our roots, which was with it gets communications too much to say manager. though, we have to kind of yeah. use old terminology, even if it's way beyond that. You're <laughs> right, so let's just call it uh, VTG and keep it simple. There but we go. You know, in front of us here, we've got the uh, the uh, 9971 Just IP phone. phone. Yeah. You know, it's got it doesn't have the camera on it, but has a, a camera assembly that's an accessory you can add to it. Voice, video, one package. Okay. Really taking uh, you know hitting the market hard and, and doing very well. These have been very well. Yep. But what we've done uh, in in this, we've actually introduced two products under our our virtualization experience client portfolio. Okay. There's the 2100, which I'll talk about here in a second, and the 2200. All right. Okay. So there's two new offers. Um, the 2100 is actually on the back side of the 9971 we have here in front of <laughs> oh us. Yep. So it, we've taken the historical foot stand off the device. It's a, it's a modular assembly. You just take you can put it on, take it on or snap it off. Okay. Uh, and replaced it with a thin client. So the thin client is this assembly you now see on the back of the device. It forms the, the mechanical function of the foot stand, like the old foot stand did. But it also has a an integral thin client built into it that supports sl optionally either. Uh, Citrix ICA protocols mm -hmm. or VMware's uh, PC over IP protocols. So the two major between those yeah. two vendors, they've got eighty nine percent. Exactly, there, yeah. we got it. We got it pretty much covered. So that's your computer now. This is now your computer, <laughs> your video terminal, uh -huh. and your voice terminal in one package that fits in the palm of your hand. 
So oh, this, this, this is what's got everybody so excited, is the fact we brought it together. Now there's a, a variety of other attributes associated with that are kind of unique in the industry. As you know, the, all of our IP phones are, are powered by uh, power over Ethernet. Mm -hmm. and we've done that for quite a while. But now we can extend the power over Ethernet connectivity to the, the yeah, uh, 2100. Yeah, we've been covering new PoE switch standards so again, and such that are pushing the right amount of power One single to power devices. drop to yep. both, but what's even more important is the energy-wise activities that the, uh, the Catalyst teams have put together in the portfolio. So now you can actually manage the power associated with your desktop All as the well. Yep, yep, the yep, phone, yep. the video, and the PC as well. So now, you know, <laughs> if you think about <laughs> like it from an yeah. IT's perspective, a lot of value in a very small packet. Yeah. Package, and the will. less that they have to physically manage, in addition to the fact that you know, because what this relies on is the fact that you're, is a virtualized data center that allows you to bring this level of intelligence out so that the user, who now all you got to do is add, what, a keyboard, a mouse, and a screen. And a monitor, you're done. So in, uh, on that so note. So you got video display ports yeah, and such on, on, the, that? on that note, you've got, you've got uh, dual DVI video outputs. And VJ, yep. You've got a total of four USB. You can see two located here. Uh -huh. These are for where you would put more permanent connections, your, your keyboard, your mouth. There's two additional on the end that mm -hmm. are used for more convenience purposes, maybe your flash drive or something of that nature. Uh, there's audio in out for a headset type of assembly. I like to use real expensive microphones. There you go, handy. you can plug that in. And then there's <laughs> a, a second audio out if you have a speaker assembly or some sort of external uh, type nice. of audio capability. So very small footprint on the desktop. Now. And very small. And in markets like Asia, very important. Space is at a, pr uh, you know, a premium on a desktop. Mm -hmm. You've got people stacked up pretty tight in, in their office space. Nice compact uh, footprint, whole business office environment sitting in this package. I see that stuff making people it out are really to the excited home market about too. This. Eventually, eventually, yeah, I think as well because we got so many people not working from there, and they, you know, they're space constrained. I've got my IP phone at home. So day one, it, it won't be in the product, but we're looking at I'm not uh, you, sorry. The, no, no. But you're right. The the the, the uh, teleworker, the home worker. Um, this phone has Wi-Fi capabilities. This phone also has um, a built-in VPN capability. So if you think about it, if we can extend those two capabilities, you now have a package you can hand to your new employee, take it home, set it on there their desk with their just their, their normal access point they use in their house, and they effectively now have their office, again, in their home environment in a very easy to deploy compact footprint. Now, this, this backpack, or sorry, the 2100, or sometimes we refer to it internally as the backpack, actually works with any of the 89 or 99 series devices. It doesn't have to be the 9971, mm -hmm. so this assembly will fit on oh, in the family. Cool. So we actually have a, a fairly broad uh, coverage of the, of, the, of, this, of the desktop space. Well, now this one here does everything that one does, but correct me up when they brought this over because I was, uh, you, you guys call this the tower. Yeah, and then I look at that and I go, that's not a very big tower. So <laughs> again, I'm picturing a tower, I'm picturing well, it. It's, it's more the, uh, the, the industrial design, if you will, of, of the product. Yeah, no, but no, it makes but complete but sense. But this but is our, our yeah, um, it's obviously should be small. Our virtualization experience uh, client, the 2200, 2100, this is the 2200. This might be good if you don't have a phone, exactly. if you're not already doing IP you've got some of if our you haven't come to your senses yet on that. Or you've got our older IP phones uh, and that don't have the ability to use the 2100, or this. it could be a competitor's desktop environment from a telephony or video perspective. Again, True. you can place this in, and if you think about it, our, our customer base tends to be uh, dual vendor, typically for, for voice, mm -hmm. but their PC desktops tend to be homogenous in terms of, you know, they're a Dell or a, or a Lenovo or whatever. So this allows us now a way to address both the PC needs and in the future, the audio and video needs of the of But is, the it, is it fair to say that, w that one thing, I what I see in this strategy also, because we've got VMware on this show today, we've had Citrix mm -hmm. in this conversation before, and you've mentioned them as well, and then of course Wise makes a client, um, it's really, even though we're making clients, which surprised me in a pleasant way, we don't really care though if you really deploy the client per se. Because I mean, it's, oh, you probably care actually, it's more <laughs> your group. I, I'm sorry, Rob, wrong guest to say that to. But, no, no. but the idea though, it, it's, it's about, it may not be right for that situation at that point in time. It's not all about making sure that there's a Cisco logo on absolutely everything, because there's so many pieces um, that talk about delivering the successful experience, whether you're actually seeing the logo on the desktop or not, right. that experience is still going to break down if you've, if you've not understood what VXI really does for you. Right? That's right, and, and the X in VXI is about this user experience. Yeah. That's the differentiator for Cisco. That's the part that's always been missing. Exactly, and <laughs> that's why there's been this barrier to adoption. It's been deployed, but it's not really taken off because of these, the, these, these limitations from a user yeah. experience. And again, the dogs don't want the dog food. If you can't give them their PC-like experience, they're going, no, I think I'll keep my PC, or I'm not happy with this solution. And we've heard it time and time and time again, the same issues, and when we explain to them the roadmap be, uh, that'll be coming out in the latter half of next year, where we start to solve the issues of voice delivery, video delivery, stream media delivery, that's what they've been looking for. That's yeah. what the industry is waiting for. And, and, and our partners with uh, partnerships with VMware and Citrix and others, I mean, again, 
the market will grow, we're all going to be successful. And again, we don't make a lot of the things that Citrix and uh, VMware need, so we, we, we need the we partnerships and We need the expertise where it is, though, right? Exactly, I mean, exactly. Yeah, and I our like customers it. have already made their choices in some cases where they've deployed these technologies. Anything else we need to know about the uh, strategy here and where it is today? Because obviously, we're, I, I'd like permission to keep checking in with you over time, because it sounds like the story is going to continue to evolve, get better and better. Like and I said, this is step one of a yeah. multi-step multi uh, journey, so there's lots on the, on the, on the, uh, the boilerplate, if you will, behind the, behind the doors, the behind the curtain. I'd love to come back sometime and, and talk to you a lot more about what we're doing. Absolutely. Right. Brian, thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs>